Lucy Grennan is the head of modern languages at John Kitto Community College in Plymouth. Keen to push her teaching forward, last year Lucy completed a teacher learning academy presentation which focused on her pupils taking control of their own learning. The first stage was very useful for me. I didn't expect to get what I did out of it. It's made me think about the classes that I'm teaching, not prejudging them um, and just being more prepared to take chances and do things a bit differently. Filled with confidence from her previous TLA work, Lucy feels ready to embark on a stage two presentation. A group of local primary school head teachers have highlighted the need for support in implementing the teaching of modern languages. With this in mind, Lucy has chosen a project that involves working with the local primary school. Her Year 10 students will give a French lesson there. They'll plan the lesson from scratch and will come face to face with the challenges of teaching in front of a whole class. There's going to be an expectation from the primary school. There's going to be an expectation from my students. So it is a little bit more daunting, if you like, but I am looking forward to doing it. It's something that I've always wanted to do anyway. The TLA was introduced to us with the, the simple question, what's the burning question in your classroom? And I think that's very, very powerful because I think every single teacher will be able to identify one thing that they really want to nail in their classroom. It tied in naturally with what I was trying to do with all staff, which is move the whole school forward by developing individual practice and developing reflective learners in the classroom. The Teacher Learning Academy is very flexible. It's all about the choice for the teacher. It's a teacher learning academy. I did have some reservations when I first thought about doing a TLA because I'd just taken on doing a master's degree. But then when I looked at the process of the TLA and how it fitted so nicely into what we're already doing in school, um, I was already doing the work, so it seems something quite simple that I could do. Lucy kicks off her learning journey by getting organised and planning her focus. The main thing for me is stepping back um, and allowing students more control, more independence. The, the plan that I've, that I've set out at the moment or that I'm working on at the moment is what I hope will happen, um, but it can change at any point. It, it depends entirely on the students and what they want to do. Right, now those are all the routes. Lucy has chosen recently qualified teacher Emma Johnson to be her mentor. No, they, they don't. Which is why I made them all make lists in my group. She has experience of um, working with primary schools and she has a link with the primary schools now. Have you done that before where you've actually had students go in and yeah. teach? I taught Did you do them in pairs? Yeah, I had them in pairs for their confidence. Lucy was my NQT mentor, so mentoring for me it was quite ironic, really, because it can often be a lot of take, take, take as an NQT, and it's nice to sort of give something back, really. Each pair might choose to teach the language in a different way, and they're then partly responsible for the planning aspect as yeah. well. To have someone who has all those brand new ideas, um, you know, when you've been teaching for like 12, 13 years, it's, it's great. That is, you can't buy that. <laughs> The key thing for me is to make sure that teachers are identifying the right kind of support from the right kind of person. I think making sure that you've picked the right coach for the right job and not assuming that one coach fits all is, is important. The beauty of the TLA is that you can actually base it on anything you like, so it doesn't have to be what you're doing in the classroom, it can be any other project that you might be involved in. When you're doing a TLA it's important to read through the booklet first of all to find out what it entails to talk to other staff that have done a TLA presentation and read through their presentation. Make sure that you know the assessment criteria using the six core dimensions to, to structure you know, your thinking in a way that's going to make it easy for you to be successful. Over the last few weeks, the students have been busy drawing up a lesson for the primary school. They've decided to teach vocab for different schoolrooms, followed by a treasure hunt. Is we just put all the rooms that we're actually going to do. So. Clue one, this is what I order we're going to do them in. Some of the longer ones you could like separate, so it's like bibliotech, you could put as a like bibli and then old tech. It's the first time really that I've heard students talking about what they find helps them learn. We need your help because then you've got your views on how to do it as well, haven't you? Exactly. They've needed a lot of help with how to get um, vocabulary across and how to teach, but 
the enthusiasm and the ideas are great. Can I go and get some more paper from resources? Uh, no. We've got that. That's a straight answer. <laughs> I've learnt to treat them more like adults. It's a lot easier to get students to actually produce things if you are more at their level. No, that's the, those are the real ones, Laura. Can't you tell the quality? That's the real thing. I'm going to do... Three. Project, I felt that I have got a bit more confidence. I personally, I don't like speak to a lot of people. I'm quite shy, but with this, I am getting a bit more outgoing with it. And I've got a lot more confidence with it. Um, I feel a bit nervous about going into the primary school, but like it'll be good to see um, how much they'll remember and how much we can actually help them. A core principle of the TLA is to help teachers improve their practice by recording and reflecting upon their progress as they go through the scheme. What I've been doing is trying to get into the habit of whenever I think about what I've done, I just write it down, even if it's just in rough. It gets you in the habit of thinking all the time about what you're doing. Um, even if you haven't completed things, you're still thinking about what you're going to be doing next. The difficult thing is the perceived difficulty in, in having to write it up. That people think it's going to be extra work, extra time. The way we overcame that on our inset was to put people into threes. So we had a scribe. And that meant that um, the colleagues could then enter into a professional dialogue about their learning without worrying about any paperwork at all. I started off my involvement with the Teacher Learning Academy by coming home from the, in the initial briefing day. And uh, I came home and, uh, and I actually wrote a stage one presentation that evening in about three hours. My only reservations about um, doing a CLA were just time commitments really. In reality um, I only did a level one so it wasn't a massive time commitment, it's really related to work that you've already done. A stage one is only no more than 1500 words but um, we, we do need that evidence because we need to see that teachers have thought about what they've done and more importantly shared their learning with other colleagues. I think because the TLA don't put a, an absolute time limit on, you know, if you want to do it at the lower level and complete it, you can do. If you want to achieve it at a higher level, then, then that's up to you. As the project progresses, Lucy's mentor, Emma, has become more hands-on. So if we go over it, how we would go over it if it was a normal lesson. And her role has taken a change of direction. The breakthrough has come about quite naturally because what's happened is it's developed from being uh, my TLA, my Stage 2 TLA, to being a double TLA. We need to do a joint submission now because we've, we've put the same amount of work in, each of us. Bureau. 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 De la, de la. Directrice. directrice. When we first started talking about it and I was your mentor, we said, oh, breakthrough, like, how's that going to come yeah. about? What's the breakthrough yeah. going to be? And then all of a sudden, sort of naturally, it's progressed into the breakthrough actually being that we've both started doing it together. The TLA looks very good for teachers if they've been involved because it demonstrates that they're proactive, it demonstrates that they're very interested in their own learning. If they were going for another job or promotion within the same organisation, it's a really good way of demonstrating that you've worked to a certain level. If you don't do something like the TLA, you've got very little record really of, of your good practice and it's just a way of saying to new employers, this is what I do, here's an example of my work, um, this is what kind of teacher I am. Salle de classe. Salle de classe. Yeah, well done. So it's, it's the day before the students give their lesson to the primary school. They're having a final practice on pupils in their own school. Bibliotech. Bibliotech. See, that's it. Okay. Now this one is la cour. La cour. La cour. Like you're saying core of an apple, la cour. They seem confident in front of their fellow students, but teaching an unknown class in an unknown school will be a new challenge altogether. See you later. See you later. Well done. I am sure it's going to be great. You're all calm. You're all ready, you've prepared really well, and I think you're going to be fine. Last night I reflected for hours, went through all sorts of things that I would not normally do now at my sort of stage of teaching. They will do the best they can, I think we've all done as much as we can now, and we just have to wait and see what it, what it turns out like. Okay, now this is the head teacher's office. It looks a bit like a kitchen, but it's not. Now, repeat after me. Bureau de la directrice. 
I didn't expect them to be able to just stand up and be a teacher. They obviously spend every day watching people teach, so they've picked up things. Everyone? Well done. Even the students that are usually very quiet in class have come out of their shells. Recreation, that's it, well done. They enjoy what they're doing and they're very confident. Boy, well done. Last ones. <laughs> By taking on this ambitious project and having the structure of the TLA alongside, Lucy has been able to develop a daring but successful teaching style. I am Miss Super Control because normally I'm standing at the front saying this is what we're doing and I'm organising and you're going to be doing that, you're going to be doing that. This time I've had to let some things go that I would never normally let go and, so, and think right okay, let them work that out for themselves. So it's been good for them and it's been good for me. I've seen teachers uh, grow in confidence as a result of their involvement in the TLA. TLA as a structure and a strategy uh, raises the whole profile of learning and not just learning for pupils or students but learning for you. Good practitioners don't beat themselves up about the lessons if they go wrong but they reflect on them, think what could I have done differently, how can I improve and what I really like about a TLA is it encourages that reflective process. As teachers if we're you know, always thinking about how we can do things differently, then we're always moving forward and that benefits the students and I think it's made me a better teacher. The lesson ends with a fun treasure hunt in which the children will need to recall the room names they've just learnt. Let's roll! It's outside! Why is it outside? The directories. Her teachers are this. They look like they were like really enjoying it. They seem to know exactly what the room was. That's how the man I really love the treasure hunt. They know what's up here. It's fun learning about French. Says <laughs> Fini, Ret Retros a la Saudi class. Hey, everybody's back. Great. We've got a trophy for the winners. It was actually the pink group. So yeah. there we go. Well done. Okay. Being a teacher is more difficult than we thought because it's basically all the planning you need to do. I never really wanted to be a teacher but doing this today made me think that I would actually quite like to do it when I'm a bit older maybe. And I'm really really grateful for everything you've done so thank you very much and well done. You've achieved so much more than I could ever have imagined that you would. You've learnt loads. You may not realise yet how much you've learnt, but you have learnt loads. It's been a massive learning experience and I think I can use it. I can use it to do things like this in the future. What we've got out of it as a department and what the students have got out of it and what the school, our school and the primary school have got out of it, I think it's well worth trying again. I'm going to have to sit down and complete the learning journey. We need to meet, we need to talk about today. And evaluate the whole process, really. Yeah. But um, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, <laughs> definitely not today.